Christianism. This teaching especially affected a young preacher. He just got out of Bible college, studied to be a pastor of a church. His name was Charles Darwin. Anybody ever heard of Charles Darwin? Charles Darwin graduated from Bible college to be a preacher, and he's going to sail around the world for five years first and collect some bugs for some, you know, bugologist back there in England. Charlie brought some books with him. He brought his Bible, of course. He just got out of Bible college, and he brought this brand new book, Principles of Geology. Charlie said that book changed his life forever. He later wrote to a friend and said, Disbelief crept over me slowly. I felt no distress. He slowly lost his faith in the Bible. As Darwin sailed around the world, he stopped off at the Galapagos Islands. Here on those islands, he noticed there were 14 different varieties of finches, a little tiny bird with a little tiny beak. But the beak shapes were different. Now the Grants went there and studied them and said, Wow, during dry years, the beak is a tenth of a millimeter thicker, and during wet years, it's a tenth of a millimeter thinner. But it always averages back out. A tenth of a millimeter, do you know how much that is? Not much. Darwin looked at the birds and said, you know what? I think all these birds had a common ancestor. I bet you're right, Charlie. It was a bird. <laughs> and then Charlie said, well, maybe this proves that birds and bananas are related. You say, oh, he never said that. Uh, he sure did. I knew you wouldn't believe me, so I brought his book. It's right here. Principles, I'm sorry. Uh, the Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. On page 170, Darwin said, It's a truly wonderful fact that all animals and all plants throughout all time and space should be related to each other. Isn't he saying the birds and bananas are related? He sure is. This is a lie. 